Okay. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a full cookie cleaner, only, um, you have no answer to about how to do it. You need to change up Ice of Sushi. Well, they have changed over to Cauldron. So, um, here's the website. I'll put a link to this in the description, but here's where you want to go. I'll put a link in the description for it, too. Um, let me just, uh, yeah. You can get it for any of these versions, and this cleaner will work for any of these versions of whoever. So, yeah. All you do is click installer. The server, <laughs> oh gosh, it took a while. I finally figured it out. The server, just ignore it, even though it says server here. So, what you want to do is click your installer, and it'll download. So then, you go to your downloads, and right um, here, Cauldron Installer. You want to double click that, and it'll run, or if that doesn't work for you, you want to figure you open with, and Java. Now it says install client, but if you want to direct, you can't do anything to launch your profile and all that. Um, that says... I experienced a problem where when I tried to do this, and if I click this, program shuts down. Well, it doesn't shut down, it crashes. So then if I had to go to here, and tab, and now, it's gone. So what I ended up having to do is, um, it's just like on the screen up here, is you do install server, and it'll automatically default to dot .minecraft. So if you just do cd start, and then do temp f data percent temp f data percent and you go to the only folder okay um sorry hold on uh dot minecraft and um once you have a bunch of stuff in here like only minecraft stuff i did at one time so you just want to create a new folder on your desktop called minecraft and just drag everything over there this is all my this was all my minecraft stuff and now what you want to do is just, since it's default to Minecraft, just click OK. But, um, be aware, you can redirect it, just to save. I want to clarify that now. You can redirect it. So, I could redirect it to here, if I could. I'm just saying, if that one error comes up for you. So, it's just going to download, and I'll be back when it's done downloading. Okay, so after it's done downloading, this is the only problem, just click OK. Now, what you want to do, again, just drag these two files. Um, okay, this is at the end of the Minecraft. If you could direct it somewhere, or you could just drag it into there. Now you can just put your Minecraft files back where they belong. So now all your stuff is in here. So what you want to do is rename this to Ghost Cauldron. And you're going to want to create a new piece of text document. Name it Run. Not Run. I'll, I'll paste this in here. I'll put a link in the description. I think I did change that. Let's just put that in here. Um, XMS1. So I'll put a link in the description for it. So what you want to do is do a file, save as, and you want to go down here where it says text document. You do all files, and you want to rename it to run. Just drop that. Click save. Once you click off, now you got your run file. You can delete that little text document, and here's your other run file. I'll just crack that. And now you just double click run, and all this stuff will come up. It just gives you a minute. Hmm. So yeah, it seems like they're already working. Now, one quick note is that it might stop and shut down, and it'll be a little EULA text, or EULA text document. All you want to do is open that, and just, um, click accept. So yeah, now I'll show you that the server's on. Oh yeah, by the way, here's the mods and plugins. This is 1.6.4, the one that I'm using right now. So this is just start, um, cauldron, you don't need this. I was just making one, so I'm trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, so you need to do Lady Forge or whatever. Click play. And you can see my Minecraft's working fine again. Even though I just moved it in and out. Which it should be. Um, I'm not sure, I'm just adding. 
so, um, how's the weather? No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, this should work for, for all versions that they have available to download. Um, <laughs> quick side note, though, you requ it requires Forge in order to join. So you're gonna need that original Forge that you got. It's not the multiplayer. Oh, by the way, yeah, forgot to mention that. IP, or not IP Pass. If you wanna go to Command Prompt, I have to do this. So click, if you wanna click IP Config. So you wanna find your IPv4 address. Um, I'm gonna use mine. It's 25.7.107.172. Dot seven dot one seven dot one seventy two. Yeah, this is just a test to make sure you got it working. And uh yeah. So you can get on it right now. Yeah, I realize they're using Palmer skin in the YouTuber, if you don't know him. And, yeah, I didn't realize that. So I got his official completion. Just for him. Just for, 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 for him. Eh, how do I actually do this for full life? Unfortunately, I cannot show you how to make it public. Thank you. You cannot, your friends can't join just yet. So what you have to do is disconnect. Um, you can leave your Minecraft on. You have to start the server. And that's pretty much it. So what you're going to want to do is like I said, find your IPv4 address. Here's mine, again. So there's two ways you could either do it. You could either use Hamachi and port forward it. Where's my Hamachi? Uh, here it is. So if you want to have Hamachi, just use, uh, no, not this one. What is this one? I don't know. So you do networking, create new network, or you can just type in your username and password. I'm just asking again. And and for your friends to join, like if you just want a personal four person server, well, five person, and then they just have to do get Hamachi and click join an existing network and type in your username and pass that, that this path gives. But if you want to kind of do it where you can have an infinite amount of people joining, what you have to do is um, also you have to find your default gateway. So mine is, oh yeah, you have to have it under Ethernet. Wow, my, sorry, that's my Ethernet, oof, I screwed up. My IPv4 address is 192.168.0.30. Oh, whatever. That's if you want to port forward. Otherwise, you'll have Hamachi, and that's my Hamachi thing. So this is my, whatever. Yeah, I gotta show you this. I'm sorry, this is not very well planned out at all. So let's see, add server again. What's my actual server that I just added? Okay. Um, it's 192.168.192.168.0.30. Huh. See, so they're both on. This is the Hamachi. No, yeah, this is the. This is my normal one, but this is my Hamachi one. So the big difference about Hamachi is that, again, you can only have a few people on. But um, for your friends, you have to do what your Hamachi number is, plus click on plus subscribe, and then you can just join all they want. But yeah, but if you want to port forward and have as many people as possible, like if you want to have some kind of weird forge skin or something, what you're gonna want to do is find your default gateway. Oh, by the way, this is a lot easier port forwarding connect to your router. So yeah. Uh, 
find your default gateway and just type it in. Well, my, let me orient you to that 158.0.1. And then you have to log in through your router and all that and port forward. So I would recommend, since I can't teach you, I'm looking up how to port forward using your router and find out what kind of router you have. But if you just want to make a server for your, or you and your four friends and use some Hachi, which is very simple, just go to, I'll put the link in the description for Hachi, just download it. And then, after you download it, you can just click your own little thing and uh, click no. Uh, let's see. Basically, what you're gonna have to do is this is your Hamachi thing. So this is what your friends are gonna be connected to once they log into your network. And um, another quick note is I'm gonna put this. Um, I'm gonna put this in a zip file and put it on a native file to download. So yeah. I think that's I think that's just about everything. Yeah, you can just add as many mods as you want or anything. I'm pretty sure you can't reload, but it's fine if you reload. Nope. So it's really fun. And but you can make a big server for your your friends or whatever. And that pretty much covers it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more. Um I feel like I'm forgetting anything. I'm sorry I can't teach you the port forwarding. I just can't. And I'm wondering if they have nope. Mm, the earliest they have is 1.10.10. So, but I'll just send you to that. So once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more. Peace.